So according to a request from a person who would me who would like me to solve a homogeneous differential equation y equal prime plus e to the negative x times y equals zero. So in this video, I'm gonna go over it. So in order to solve this one, first of all, we need to check if x equals zero is analytic or not. So in order to do that, we're going to take a look at p of x and p of x. So p of x is equal to zero and q of x is equal to e to the negative x. So we cannot tell anything about this, I mean, whether or not and whether or not x equals zero is analytic. So we have to, to expand this out. So if you still rem if you remember, we have e to the x is equal to power series from zero to infinity, one over n factorial x to the n. Okay, and then you plug in zero to plug in zero one two three infinity to write it in a series. This is just gonna be like this. So plug in zero, I have one. Plug in one, I have x. Plug in two, we have one over two factorial x squared. Plug in three, we have one over three factorial x cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay, and here's a here's a thing. So we already have at e. So what about e to the negative x? So this is a formula for e to the something. So what about if the power of e is it's gonna be replaced by this x? Okay. So if it was e to the so for example in this case it is it is e to the negative x. So it's gonna be power series from zero to infinity one over n factorial times negative x to the to the n power. Okay, so no matter what this is, I don't care what this is, so just replace this into this one and everything else is the same, okay? So I for this one, so I can read it, I can get it roughly right here, so just write it up here. So this is going to be a power series from 0 to infinity, 1 over n factorial times negative x to the n power, okay? And then if you run out terms for this one, so we're going to have, plug in 0, I have 1, plug in 1, I have negative x. Plug in 2, we have 1 over 2 factorial x squared. Plug in 3, we have 1 over 3 factorial negative x cubed. So negative 1 over 3 factorial x cubed plus dot dot dot. And as you can see, x equals 0 is analytic. So we have ordinary point. Ordinary point. Okay? That means that our solution is given in this form. y equals power series from 0 to infinity. C in x to the n. Okay? Then take the first derivative gives me power series from 0 to uh, from So just leave this blank. C in, bring that exponent, and then subtract the exponent by 1. So if you let in store that 0, then this becomes 0. Then you have to fix it. So you have to let in store that 1 to make this valid, okay? So always so always check if n equals 0 is valid or not, okay? And then take the second derivative using the power series. Just leave the blank for now. C in, n times n minus 1, x to the n minus 2, okay? Again, bring down the exponent and then subtract the exponent by 1, okay? And now for this time, n is starting from to infinity. So if you plug in either 0 or 1, so we'll make this become 0 and it doesn't work. So you have to move to the next one and make this work. Okay, now we are going to plug this into this one. So let me go allow to separate this first. So plug in these I have a power series from 2 to infinity. C in n n minus 1 x to the n minus 2 plus e to the negative x which is a power series from 0 to infinity 1 over n factorial negative x to the n times y which is power series from 0 to infinity c in x to the n is equal to 0 okay so you uh, if uh, that, we, that we did in the previous video we are going to run out terms and combine our terms but for this one here we have a problem right here because we cannot multiply power series together directly we cannot distribute like you did for equation or functions so we have to write it out Okay, so for the first one, for this power series, let's write it out. So what I mean by writing it out is like this, so you have to write it in series. So for this one, plug in 2, I have 2C2. Plug in 3, I have 3 times 2, 6C3. Six, six plug in 4, I have 12C4. X squared. So 1, 2, 3, so I think this is good enough because we need only 3 terms for each independent solution plus that, that that then for this one so we are going to write this like this so plug in zero we have oh basically i gave it up here so just bring it out so plug in zero i have one plug in one i have negative x and then two one over two factorial x squared minus one over three factorial x cubed plus that, that that and for this so we have c naught plus c one x plus c two x squared plus that 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 is equal to zero Alright. Alright, so let me rewrite this one.
Now for this one, uh, you do not distribute, do not follow this. You uh, if you follow it, it's a uh, doesn't give you the correct answer. So what I'm gonna do is to distribute this. So I do it very very systematic fashion, so that I don't lose things. Okay. So watch carefully what I'm doing here. So let's start with this, then distribute this into this one. Then I have C naught. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna circle back to this and move to the next one. So I have C naught, and when I move to the next one, I need to ask myself if I were about to multiply, if I were about to distribute this, would I get a constant? And the answer is not. So I'm done with this one. Now move on to the next term. So I have 1 times C1x, which gives me C1, C1x. And then I keep circling back to this one and move to the next one. So negative x times C0, which gives me negative c not x. So this is my constant for x. And then move to the next one, so I got x squared, then I will get x squared, so it's out of range. Because we need x, just x. Okay? Now, circle back to this one and move to the next one. Okay, so I have 1 times C2x squared, which gives me C2x squared, right? And then so I go back to this one and move to the next one. So negative x times C0, doesn't give me x squared, move to the next one. So x squared, now hold on, so this one times this one doesn't give me x squared, but this one times this one does give me x squared, so I have negative C1. Okay, and then Move to the next one, so I have 1 over 2 factorial x square, and this, it also gives me x square. C naught. So this is my const, uh, leading coefficient for x squared. Then you're gonna do the same thing. So the further you go out, the more terms you may have for the x, okay? Plus dot 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 is equal to 0. So doing this, I, do, I won't lose things. Now we are going to combine like terms. So we have C naught, a constant, constant, so two C naught, and two C two plus C naught. Then for the x terms, for the x term we have six C three plus C one minus C naught. Now for the x square term, I have twelve C four plus C two minus C one plus one over two C naught times x squared plus dot dot is equal is equal to zero. Now we are going to do equate coefficient. So let this equal 0, I have 2 C2 plus C0 equals 0, solve for the biggest C, which is C2. So C2 equals negative C0 over 2. Now for this one, 6 C3 plus C1 minus C0 equals 0, again solve for the biggest C, which is C3. Then I have C3 equals negative C1 plus C0 over 6. Okay, now for this one, 12 C4 plus C2 minus C1 plus 1 half C0 equals 0. Again solve for the biggest C, which is C4. Then I have C4 equals negative C2 plus C1 minus 1 half C0 or over 12. Okay, now what is C2? C2 is C negative C0 over 2. So I have C0 over 2, C1. We don't know just to write it with this. This is a negative 1 half C0 over 12. So this cancel out and I left with C1 over 12. Okay. Now our final solution is equal to C0 plus C1x plus C2x squared plus dot dot dot. What is C0? C0 we don't know, just rewrite it. What is C1? C1 we don't know, just rewrite it. What is C2? C2 is negative C0 over 2. What is C3? C3 is negative C1 plus C0 over 6. What is C4? C4 is C1 over 12. x to the 4 plus dot dot dot. So we have C0, C0, and C0. So factor it out, I have C0, 1 minus 1 half, x squared, plus 1, 6, x cubed, plus dot dot dot, plus C1, factor C1, I have x, minus 1, 6, x squared, plus 1, 12, x to the 4, plus dot dot dot. Alright, so this is your final solution. I hope it helps. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.